everyone, thank you for coming in and checking out my video. Ever since the beginning of my hobby, or what my wife might say sometimes my addiction, I've been coming to Leo's Lagoon. In the hobby, we all have that favorite fish store we enjoy visiting and buying fish from, and to me that is Leo's Lagoon Tropical Fish, located in Sumter, South Carolina. Here you see a preview on one of the reasons I decided to ask Richard, which he's the owner of Leo's Lagoon, if he would let me make a video of his fish store. He actually received an order of 81 African cichlids, and since coming here that is the biggest order he has received. So I figure it would be awesome for me and the viewers if he gave me the opportunity to film the process of receiving and inputting the fish into the tank. Now here's an all around view of the shop. It is not a huge store, but it definitely has all the what you need to run a healthy aquarium. Now there is a lot of cool fish and things in his shop, but one of my favorites has to be that sign. Guns are welcome on premises. Please keep all weapons holstered unless need arises. In such case, judicious marksmanship is appreciated. That is hilarious to me. But maybe it's just because, like Richard, I am a veteran and I am a Purple Heart recipient. So here we have one of his saltwater tanks with huge corals, like the giant toadstool you see right there. There's also some anemones, some denzels, and the coolest fish of all, I believe, is the denzel. We have some uh, planted tanks with smaller fish. Something my to-do list is a marine tank, but I want to do a planted tank. My good buddy Robert just started to put some plants in his African cichlid tank, and it looks amazing. It's just so hard to keep plants healthy without the cichlids munching on them. Now here we have the fish delivery guy. These are the coolers in which he transports the fish in. The vehicle he uses for transportation is his big old white van that has climate control from front to back. Now here's the precious cargo. He orders small and medium assorted African cichlids. The small ones came in 5 per bag and the medium ones all had their own bag. Now even though it says assorted African cichlids, you can ask Richard and he will tell you what the cichlid is by their scientific name or by their popular name. Now slowly but surely I'm getting there, one day I'll know their names. But uh, for now I'm good. Now all these fish get bagged the night prior to shipping, so it's kind of like if the fish were being shipped by air cargo. After letting the fish acclimate for a little bit over 30 minutes, he dumps the water in a bucket, he catches the fish on the net and then inputs them into the tank. I will say I have bought a ton of fish from Richard and I have never had a single fish coming with ick, which can, which can tell you a lot about the water quality he keeps in his tanks. Uh, they're also always nice and fat and never have signs of a sunken belly. Um, now even though the fish show no signs of being sick, I do quarantine the fish for 14 days just to make sure that they're good to go to put into my main tank. In case I was to see any signs of illnesses, uh, I'm ready to treat with medication and I don't have to use much uh, since my quarantine tank is only 29 gallons. Now let's meet the owner of Leon's Lagoon and to me the coolest LFS owner. So hello everyone, here we got Richard, owner of Leon's Lagoon. So Richard, tell me a little bit about yourself. I uh, started keeping fish in 1989. Someone sold me two piranha, told me nothing about them. I took them home and killed them immediately. And then managed to kill almost every fish I touched for about two months. Decided I'd had enough of that and got a job at a local fish store and been selling fish ever since. Cool. So now that we talked about a little bit about yourself, uh, tell me a little bit about your store. Um, we cater to the novice, the beginner, as well as the experts. Um, we have wonderful selection of corals supplied by some very good friends. And we offer a good selection for a community that might not be able to afford big city prices. Another one of his saltwater tanks where he keeps bigger coral and some fish. Some of the corals you see are the brain coral. And that pretty cool looking thing down there is a giant finger leather. Now I'm pretty sure everybody knows about the clownfish, or as our kids call them, the Nemos. I love the way these corals glow at night. He has posted some videos before and wow. So here we have a frag tank and I do want to apologize to everyone for the glare. It definitely doesn't do any justice to these amazing corals. Some of the frags in the tanks are some blue mushrooms, poise, acrosinia, tierra de fuego. And that's pretty funny. I was actually talking to Richard and man, the names of the people come up for these corals. They're pretty fun to mention. Uh, I would not mind coming out with a name myself. So if you had an opportunity to name a coral, what would you name it? Drop it in the comments and let's have some fun with it. Now here are some of his uh, saltwater tanks again. Inside we can see some sea urchins, some uh, bigger denzels, 
and uh, some small tiny little engineer gobbies. Now I'm not very knowledgeable when it comes to marine tanks, but I just thought that it would be fun to bring you some of these amazing fish he has. I mean it gives us a different perspective other than African cichlids, which is all I do. Now these eight tanks right here is where most of his arriving fish come into. You can see some firefish. Those are the white with red fish you see in there. There's also some yellow tanks, some yellow powder tanks as well. And as you see there, there's also adult engineer gobbies as you saw in the previous tank. These are pretty cool looking fish, I believe. Now we have some more denzels and more yellow tanks as well. Now I do enjoy watching the saltwater fish, but I'm staying loyal to the African cichlids as they are my favorite fish out there. And I uh, mean, they're not so hard to keep, you know, it's pretty simple. You just gotta have good filtration and water changes and feed them the right amount of food. So how could I be present on an 81 African cichlid delivery and not buy any fish, right? So I got first dips and chose these beautiful cichlids. Two will be peacocks, one sunshine, one by color 500, and a raw desi. They will go straight into my quarantine tank. Well folks, I will say Richard has definitely learned how to keep fish alive since his first encounter with them. Thank you for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe at M&M Cichlids, and if you ever in the area of Sumter, South Carolina, don't forget to visit Leo's Lagoon, but most important of all, have a great rest of your day.